Neighbor authentication is highly recommended. It prevents unauthorized routers from forming neighbor relationships and potentially compromising the network. Now, you might argue that ISI's usage is very limited across the internet, but it still doesn't prevent an enterprising third party from trying to compromise the infrastructure. The way to do it in Cisco IOS is to create a suitable keychain containing the key that's going to be used for the neighbor authentication. And then that keychain is applied either per interface, which is less common, or applied to the entire ISIS process, which is more common. You really want the key to ensure that nobody accidentally tries to add a router to the network infrastructure. But some operators will apply the key on a per-interface basis. To originate a default route into ISIS using Cisco IOS, there's a default originate command, which will always originate a default route into ISIS, even if there's no default in the rib. If we want to originate a default route conditionally, in other words, only if a default exists in the global rib, then, as the example shows, we need to do the default originate command with a route map that will actually match a default route that will be seen in the rib. The example is for v4. There's an equivalent that can be set up for IPv6 as well. Running ISIS in a point-to-point -point Ethernet also gives access to an optimization. We don't need a this on a point-to-point -point link. So what we can do is set up the Ethernet as a point-to-point -point link. Ethernet is widely used now for medium and long-haul point-to-point -point links. So we can save a little bit of resource by not having a DIS there. There's no need for one on a point-to-point -point link. And that's done by going to the Ethernet interface and doing ISIS network point-to-point. -point. Both ends of the link need to have this configuration set up. As the DIS selection is independent of IP, the above command is generic. There is no need for an IPv6 equivalent. To add v6 support in ISIS, all we need to do is go to the interface and do IPv6 router ISIS. There's no other configuration needed if we're running it in a single topology-based network. For multi-topology, we need one more configuration line, and that's going into the ISIS sub-configuration for v6 and adding multi-topology. This will cause the router to create a separate topology database holding all the v6 destinations. To summarize all this, ISIS is a link state routing protocol. It's quick and simple to get started but it has a myriad of options and features to cover almost all types of network topology. Network operators keep the ISIS design very simple. Most networks today can run the entire backbone in L2 only. And it's very much become the chosen IGP when operators are using both IPv4 and IPv6 in a dual stack configuration.